everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. So, the last duel went pretty well. Took a little bit of damage, but uh, everything went okay. Uh, we did make a bunch of sea bills, which is great, because now we can make three financial reports, rather than just barely making one. So, uh, I already know what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and do a base defense mission today. Uh, we do have one in the, um, in the uh, contracts list here. Now, we do have a few other one skull missions I could take. But currently, right now, I still want to generate a bunch of sea bills. So we're going to take this one. This should be a good sea bill get, uh, catcher. And mil multiple people have said that it would be interesting to get um, the Hatcherman with the Royals and do a um, assassinate mission, which I, th I think is a great idea. We'll try and get the Hatcherman going against the main guy. Um, and let's let, let that be a solo fight. So that's a possibility coming up in the future. Uh, I want to make sure we get the um, the um, Spare Leopard first so we can drop five mechs so the Royals are running their lance normally and then the uh, the Duelist will have his own um, his own drop. So that will be in the future but not currently. So what we want to do is take this one today. We're two days away from the financial report and hopefully, now this is against um, Clan Jade Falcon. So I'm hoping we can pick up some pretty good salvage off of this. Now, base defense missions at half a skull should be pretty easy. Um, let's go ahead and load uh, Royals. We're probably going to have to... So I had to go ahead and hire... Actually, we should... No, before we do this, I keep forgetting to check, but we should probably go and check our uh, pilots here. I had to do... I had to hire another vehicle pilot because we lost our vehicle pilot in the last episode of the Royals. So I picked commander. up a new pilot uh, called Thunder. Um... He managed to get a little bit of experience uh, while we were um, getting me me confirmed. mechs repaired and stuff. Oh yeah, before we actually log it, go in, I want to just quickly show you something too as well. Uh, so Smirk, um, you are basically a direct fire powerhouse, so I want to go focus fire, and I think we're going to go with, uh, yeah, we're going to go with focus fire on you for gunnery. So let's confirm that. Talk about I think are still yeah we're waiting we're gonna go go guts next on her uh, and Wrangler I think is pretty good so I think we're good to go with the main lance um, yeah I think we're good so let's have a quick look at the mech bay now I did do a rebuild of the Sentinel and I know we were talking to, like I mentioned the Gauss rifle and how when it hits it's fantastic and when it doesn't hit it's you know, 17 tons of wasted space, right? 15 tons for the Gauss rifle, 2 tons for the ammo. 17 tons of space on a 40-ton mech is a lot, right? It's a lot of weight. So I decided to kind of space that 17 tons worth of damage out a little bit. Now, let's have a quick look at it. And what I did was I took off the Ultra 2 that we had put in the Hatcherman, took it off there, put it on here, we got it in the arm with a with a pair of half tons of, of ammo because that's all I have. So we got 30 rounds of so 15 turns of firing. Then I took our double large chem lasers plus the double uh, ton of ammo. So we got 20 shots a piece and put them in the second uh, in, uh, in the laser slots here. So now with this mech, um, we've got um, pretty much the same laser damage that we had before, which is being put out by the auto cannon, and it'll be a little bit more accurate because it's in the arm. And then the lasers, we're basically taking the Gauss rifle damage and splitting it in half. Now, this is like a plus or minus uh, damage variability because of the chem lasers. Um, it doesn't quite have the same range as the Gauss, but now we've got three weapons um, spitting out four chances to hit, which is, you know, all right. Um, and I was able to up the armor to max because at the at um, uh, before this point, we had um, still... Uh, a few points, like on the like the center torso and the two left and right torsos, were were down a bit, and the back was down a bit in armor. Now I feel a little bit more safe running it this way. So the other thing too is now we've got a super um, ridiculous amount of um, heat sinking on this thing. So in the future, what I want to try and do is get this clan large heavy laser in here somewhere. Now we do have extra space left over. Um, so at some point we're probably going to work that in here, although it, this might end up going on to the, um, um, the, the main mech. Um, my God, my brain is dying today. 
Anyway, it might go there. I don't know where it's going to go yet, but it is going to go on the waiver. And sorry, yeah. So it might go here. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. So we'll just see how it goes. Um, now let's get right into the battle here. So uh, we want to go with this guy. We're going to negotiate. Full salvage. Accept. Let's bring our lance in. Go ahead and load in you. And then we'll bring our new pilot down for the thunder, or for the uh, hunter, I mean. Uh, thunder in the hunter. Now, I'm not expecting a lot from this pilot, but this is just another mech to, or another vehicle to get targeted. So let's just go. Command interface initiated. All right, so we got to defend the VTOL assets. So this is an interesting... Why is that there? Got to defeat the Falcon units. Is that the enemy start location? We got friendlies coming in. Yeah, we know that. But they're coming from over here. So we can't drop there. So they're basically right on top of our base. They are right on top of the base. So this should be a interesting fight. I mean, I mean, it's a good thing it's one skull, but it should be an interesting fight. Actually, let's let's escape that. I want to get everybody onto the road here. I think. Um, alt. Yeah, let's get everybody on the road so we're not moving through the trees. All right, what do we got here? So I don't know if our if our copters will attack. We got a locust C, solitaire, a falcon, a locust two C, and these are our guys here. Okay, a sandwich and a swift wind. They're both really fast, which means it'll be one or two turns before they're there. Hey, get some field command going. I have a feeling if I'm not shooting... Yeah, these guys must still have spawn defense. Um, I'm going to reserve. I can't now, sorry. I've already used my ability, so i got to move. Damn it! Alright. So. Going to get our back to the rock here. These guys are pretty quick. We don't want them getting behind us. So let's just take the best chance to hit. We'll take pot shots at this guy. So. Alright, a little bit of damage. Not bad. Excellent. Yeah, those guys won't do anything until... Um, we're going to reserve, I think. Those guys won't do anything until the vehicles get into the activation zone. Yeah... God damn it, why they got so many damn PPCs? So there is five of them there. It's a Falcon at the back. I'm interested to see how well the Sentinel does. It would, would have been nice having the two large chem lasers on the Thorn. So we could run in and just blast, but I think the Thorn, I don't know. We need we need to do something with it. If we can get all pulses in there, it might be a better bet. Because it's not landing anything right now, so. Alright. Yes, Commander. Yeah, we're not going to get much of a chance to hit, are we? It's okay. Let's just move up. Wasn't expecting much on turn one, but we'll get into here. Puts both these mechs into good striking position. Take a pot shot at this guy. Yeah. See, I'm not so worried. Like, that last battle we faced, those misses were really, really important, right? Because when you're facing those that many guys at the start, it's really, really important that you land your shots. Um, but in, a, in one like this, where it's like, I mean, yeah, we're facing five guys and there's going to be two more lances coming, but we do have an opportunity to murder a bunch of these guys and be in good position to kill the rest of them as the other two lances are arriving. So we've got a good chance to um, eliminate some, some uh, attackers here. To, to minimize the amount of mechs that are going to be against us. Whereas if they're all here and they're all shooting, it's like now we really have to watch our positioning, right? So let's see what they do. Solitaire. 
That's interesting. Not sure what he's doing. I am not sure what he's doing, but he's pretty yes, much giving us a uh, a shot at him now. And let's take I that shot. It. Let's take it. Oh well, yeah, the other thing I did do with the uh, Sentinels, I added um, the, the clan cockpit and the clan fire control system to give us an extra two gunnery. So it's a, a little better to hit stuff with it. Oof. Uh, let's go with the better chance to hit. Targeting for an yeah, I think I'm going to find this better. The fact that we can hit, you know, um, with one of the two lasers, as opposed to, like, if we miss with the Goss Rifle, we've just completely missed. Always trying to rely on that, getting that one big hit in and hopeful and hoping you don't hit the biggest armor location is tricky. Standing by. It's not some it's not something I normally like to do either because it's you're you're relying on you know hoping you get the shot, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go after this guy. Um Sure, let's just fire it all. Now, Alright, not bad. I hear you. And you. I mean, we could go after this same guy. Nah, not from there we can't. And from here, we're not going to get to use the uh, LRMs pretty much, but... That's only 40%. Can we use anything else? We can't. Let's get in here. Pedal to the Let's just hard rock this guy. See what we can get out of him. Might as well. Not the best chance to hit, but we get the most number of weapons going. Might, I'm going to fire it because we got more than 10 turns of shooting. Yeah, we, I mean, we could get him. Not really. Not really. Come on, Sandwich, get up there. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Alright, 19. We should get these guys on our side this turn, which will be nice. Well, at least the ones that haven't moved yet. Um... Wow. Get into here. Affirmative. I want to try and get this guy out of here. I don't want him on my backside when I'm trying to face these other guys, so he's got to go. He's got to go now. Okay, firing everything. Okay, goes the right torso. Large heavy clan's gone. You didn't expect that. As much as I hate not going to be able not being oh, able no. to see that in the loot table. Um, it's better that this guy's dead. 27, huh? That's it. That's all you can get. 29. Screw it. On the move. Let's see if we can finish this up. All you gotta do is land one good shot. That's all you gotta do. Them there I you go. Tango down. There you go. That was a gimme. There we go. There's our, there's our at least two copters this turn. And we got a vehicle that can move out to fight too. Now the benefit of it being on this base here is that the enemies usually drop like over here or here and then some then another lance will usually drop over here. Sometimes you can get them back here, but most of the time they're behind the walls. So when they do try and shoot, then um, can we get a green line here? We can. We most certainly can. Just barely. I bet you if I move there, I bet you I don't, I, I, we don't get the green line. On my way. Double time. We'll find out. So yeah, I mean we're we we could be in a really good position here. 
That's actually pretty good. We'll take that shot. Acknowledge. Reporting critical hit. Excellent. So yeah, as far as our firepower goes with the Sentinel, it's not really much more. Um, we had an ER medium and an ER small on this thing before, which is basically taken up by the Ultra now. So it's, I mean, we're doing like maybe nine points damage more than we were before, like maximum. But splitting that Gauss rifle in half, like I said, it's, it's a huge advantage because now we may hit one of the two shots, you know what I mean? Uh, can we get a shot at that Falcon? We cannot. Garbage. A little better on this guy. Can we actually get a solid line on him somewhere? Is that solid or is that... That looks like it's more solid. Is that better? It is slightly better. Let's see if we can take that shot. Now we're still operating in the desert so that even though the Wavern is relatively heat neutral, in the desert it's just it's just garbage so not much we can do but let's not get too hot let's just go after this guy with these so he's got a pair of streak twos and an er medium okay a little bit of damage almost got one bar taken down off him this this um wavern i don't know man it's got like i don't know what to do to improve it i really don't it just does it's just got so much splashiness, it just doesn't really... I mean, there's uh, the obvious, um, obvious thing is to put the, uh, the clan large heavy, uh, laser on it. I think if we do that, though, it's gonna become a target, like, everyone, everyone's gonna try to shoot at it. I mean, a lot of people are shooting at it now, but I mean, even more, you know? If we can get some stealth armor for it, too, I think that would work. Stealth armor and some big, big guns. What can I do for you? Uh, can you get on that locust? Actually, can you get on the? Um, you can't. You can't get on the falcon. Would have been nice. Let's get around here. Let's see what happens. They're not shooting at you right now, so I mean, who knows? 11% with the LRM on this guy, 11 on this guy, 23 on this guy. We get more weapons out here, so let's just go ahead and do it. I'm not going to be afraid of firing all the time with my machine guns with this guy. Uh, because it's, I mean, if, even if they didn't jam, we'd have a full 10 turns of firing anyway. So I'll just fire everything, I, everything we possibly can, whether it's a really garbage chance to hit or not. Uh, our vehicle's charging them. Really? <sighs> Who's left? Heads up, Commander. You got hostile, hostile contacts inbound. inbound. All right, so we got someone back there, and probably another lance over here, maybe, or it could be back here. I don't know. Alright, what do we got here? The Zoria LRM. So it's this typical Zoria loadout. Arctic Cheetah with a lot of missiles. Is this another Zoria? Okay. That actually might be a good grab for us. And there's probably two things that we can't see there. Yes, Commander. Alright, Wrangler. I know you're standing in fire, but... We want to see what we can claim over here before those guys really show up and give us a pasting. So, let's see if we can get this Falcon down. I think this is the one with the PPCs, so if we can burn this guy, that's pretty good. We'll take that. Ooh, two solid hits and another kill. Damn! Making up for that last mission, man. Okay, get that Ripper out there. Uh huh. Give them something else to shoot for. Is what, what I want. What I want out of Got that. Something you want done? I do. Oh yeah, they are behind us. Okay, there are good ways down here though. So we got a couple of turns. Oh, they're all urban mechs. 
So that's a huge bonus unless they've got like an arrow Irby or a thumper and they should start shooting the buildings with it. Then we're in trouble, but at this point I think we're okay. That's pretty good chances to hit. Uh, I want to get behind the... Yeah, let's go here. Two reasons. One, I don't want to get these guys to let, let these guys see me. And the other reason is I don't want to let these guys see me. So, I mean, this is not the best position to be in, but it's one that we can Copy that. protect ourselves and have the best chance to hit. Nice. Score to critical hit. You rack up the hits, rip that armor off, and let our other guys finish them off. I'm here. So, so far that, uh, that's not bad, we'll take that. So far the, um, Sentinel seems to be working good. I mean, we've had good chances to hit, which has been helpful, so we'll see how that continues. When we get into a direct fire battle. Copy that. Firing alpha strike. Alright, a little bit of damage. Not enough for a kill, but he's lost evasive. Does that is what is he going? Eleven? We go on thirteen and nine though. We can probably get him with the waiver, and I think. Finish him off. That's three down. Three down and this is yeah, three down and four rounds. Really? Is it round four already? I guess so. It only feels like round three though. Wait a minute. Did we miss a round somehow? It's round four, right? So our first round we were up into here. Second round these guys came back and killed him. Right, the third round we yeah that is. Okay. Receiving you. I'm just going insane. That's all it is. That's all it is. Let's move into here. Heading out. And we'll go with Let's go with this. We'll drop some heat. That should be enough to kill him, I think. Yep. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Go, 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 go! I wonder if these guys will even get into battle. Oh, that's the rocket launcher version. Or the LRM version, it looks like. Alright, we got your attention. You just keep after us. Forget about shooting at the base. Where are you going? Sandwich moving into cover back here? Is that where it went? Where did he go? Huh. I thought he moved into here somewhere. I don't see him there though. Okay, another Falcon with PPC. This is the sprint. See if we can get that hunter around behind him. We're get, I, the weird th I mean, we're getting a lot of back kills and core core kills on this one. Um, I'm hoping we get some half decent salvage out of the drops. I'm not really that worried about it. I want guns off the field for this first lance. Get rid of them, even though it might be the best technological lance. Get them off the field, right? And then worry about the other guys and maybe we can get some salvage out of them. But right now the goal is just to make sure that uh, we secure kills here. Okay. Pair of energy. So the ER smalls probably. So one Zoria. But yeah, so there's the swift end. Swift wind hiding in the buildings. Oh, we got what's this guy? Howler. Don't we have Howler parts? I'm pretty sure we do. Anyway, this Thorn. This might be the last battle for the Thorn. We got the Mislinks coming back very shortly. So most likely the Thorn will be pulled out of service. The Mislinks will go in. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, three medium lasers, uh, 20 ton mech is okay. You know, it's probably pretty much what you'd expect on a 20-tonner. Uh, but if we can get the mislinks in there with like a bunch more, well, well worth it. So you've taken a CT hit. You got no back armor to speak of. 
Your PPC, I think, is in that arm. So we're going to try and kill your left side. Going the wrong way, buddy. I think he's heading down towards the urban mix. Okay, that's... So they do have five. Okay. So that's R80. Or, or sorry, 60L, I mean. That's the laser version. At least I think it is. Oof. Friendly structure down, command. Yeah. That guy's got medium heavy lasers. Yep, pair of medium heavies. What are you doing? Okay. Shoot me, don't shoot the building. I hear you. Well, that's interesting. I guess because the LRM is facing forward? Alright, that's garbage. Um. Good chance with the flamers and the machine guns on this guy. Not so good there, though. I guess because we're way closer here. Alright, let's do it. Let's just get on on. Why not? Get some, get some hits. Hopefully he'll run the hell out of here. Ooh, it looks like a bunch of those missiles hit. Ah, oh, scary. Yep, shoot the swift wind, baby. Leave those buildings alone. No retreat. What? I like last time. No retreat. Stay here to the very end if we have to. All right, we need to rotate to take on that Arctic Cheetah. So who do we have in position for that? The Sentinel is probably still a turn away. And I know for sure that the Wavering's a turn away. What? No. But I want this PPC gone. So let's do that. Okay. Let's work on getting rid of this guy. Right here. Hammer him. Oh, he's got a snub. Okay. Not a lot of damage. But you're on the same thing here. Right in there. Because I can't let this guy be here if I want to move my guys onto the flank because they're going to get a back shot at him. Or this guy will get a back shot at my guys, so I want to make sure he's gone before we move. That and this um, locust can't be here either. There's got to be another mech over there, though. Okay, at least he's shooting at the copter. Howler, Arctic Cheetah, and two Zorias, and that's it, I guess, eh? Receiving you. Let's go after him. I know it puts our backs to the Irbies, but they're so far away. There's the chance of landing a shot for them is pretty low, I think. Time to unload. Okay, good hits. That hit something good. Should be able to finish that up with the Wavering, I think. What's he got for his leg? 35. 35. Ah, uh, well, we'll see. We've got to land a lot of the shots. If we can get the, the Hunter in there as well.
These guys aren't doing a damn thing. Bomb rack HE. Probably a pair of medium lasers. What do you got? ER medium laser magna. What about the guy over here? Howler, where are you going? Oh, I see. Sure. Works for me. This guy's got bomb mines. Did he use them already? He looks like he's used one, but I don't think he actually shot anything. I think he's just fucking around over there. Drop the damn mines, buddy. Drop them over there. Those things actually apply. Like, there's a lot of mines that go down, so... Against these light guys, it would be devastating. But you just got an LRM-5, huh? So, plan of clan, a pair of clan SRM-6s. Those would be nice to put on the... Uh, on the Wavern. I know we were talking about putting a pair of clan LRM-6s on the uh, Hatchetman. That would be a nice uh, melee build, I think. All right, that's fine. We'll deal with you later. Ha! Send me a real opponent. He's put himself in a good position for us. Okay, I'm not sure why those guys aren't doing anything. What can I do for you? But at this point, I don't really care. Got it. Max speed. Let's no see shooting. what we can get on this guy. Man, almost all of our machine guns are jammed here. Firing. Here we go. Affirmative. Okay, a little bit of heat on him. That guy's breaking shit over there. Stop breaking shit! I mean, I don't have to pay for it, but, you know. Ready for orders. Still. Uh, we can't get a side shot. We can sure as hell close, though. Got it. Now the question is, is do we throw up the large pulse or do we drop heat? That's pretty damn hot. We could leave this SRM off. Not giving us much, though. Ooh, let's just try and secure the kill. We'll go all out. Got it. I think that was a good choice. There we go. Tango down. It's going to nerf us a bit for next turn, but I'm okay with that. Now we've got our back clear. I can actually focus on these guys over here now. I'm getting some good salvage, baby. I think if we can pick up... If we can, if we can kill the guys on this side, I'd be really, really happy. I don't care about the Urban Max at all. If all these guys survive, who cares? But I want to get all four of these guys if I can. The Howler is not such a big deal. Clan LRM-5 would be okay. If it's got a Clan XL in it, there's a good chance, you know, and we can get it, then I, I you know, I'll, I'll uh, get that as well, obviously. But the Zoria pieces, getting another vehicle in play would be nice. Since we're down one, we could be using one more. Okay, come on, buddy. Show us what you got. Move up here. Move right into here. This is where I want you, right here. Or even in these trees. I'll take the trees. The trees gives, gives me a shot at getting you in one turn. If you go here, it's two turns probably. Come on. You know you want to. Move forward. Let's go. I'm throwing the challenge down. Let's go. Oh, it wasn't his turn. I'm still throwing that challenge down. Let's go, buddy. Right up here. Where's the swift wind going? Nowhere. He's just going to sit there and die, apparently. Sure, you do that, buddy. You hang out there. Stare down those five urban mechs. It's a good idea. Oh, he's going the other way. Yep, going the other way. It's only because I called him out. He's like, fuck that, you killed four max already. Fuck that. Four max in five turns, it's not bad. No, oh, that's the Zoria. I don't think we're gonna get them. They're slowly moving farther and farther away. We just don't have the speed to get up there and the damage output to, to get them really fast, so. 
Okay, well. Hey. Uh, we got to the locust. You know what? We're gonna hold off. Sure. Just forget about me. I'm not forgetting about you. Just hang on a minute. Right I want I want somebody over on the right hand side to expose. If we can get that Arctic cheetah to expose, that'll be nice. Ooh, nice shot. Someone's got a bomb rack. Waiting on you, Commander. Ah, uh, we're still gonna reserve. It's gonna kill our initiative next turn, but at least it'll give us a good shot this turn, hopefully. And then we can follow up next turn with a finish up on somebody. Worst case scenario, if this Arctic Cheetah doesn't take the bait, if it doesn't move in, then, um, yeah, then we're gonna have to, like, kill this locust, I think, first. Not liking that hunter. That's fine, that's what it's there for. It's feeling some kind of way about that guy being there. Man, that's gotta be painful. I, I remember playing the Irvies, it was always so bad when you have a stock Irby and it's like they have no speed. Oh, he decided to go with the rocket launchers. Well, at least we don't have to worry about him now. Although now they're all inspired, including this guy lying face down in the dirt over here. Uh, we gotta wait. Yeah, you go after him. Show him who's boss. With no weapons. <laughs> He's got no weapons. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why? Just put a tag on it or something. Like a like a like a clan tag, like a point five ton something on it, you know? Can easily have a like a la like a laser finder, you know what I'm saying? Another R20. Oh crap. Well, there goes our vehicles. I'm surprised they didn't hit the, their own guy as much as they were, uh, as they probably should have from that range. But we're reserved past 10. <sighs> okay, come on guys, let's go. These two guys here. What are these guys going on? I have no idea. The Locust goes on 10 as well. Did they hit him? They must have hit him. No, no, he got hit by the, uh, right, he got hit by the thing. Alright, so we're gonna have to kill this guy. Enemy flanking. Let him flank, he's gonna, he's just about to die, so. Um, reserve. Ooh, I hate being pushed back so far in initiative. Okay. I don't think he's in the position we want him to be in, though. Oh, okay, he was in, he's in the secondary position. Not bad. See how that goes. Crap, he's shooting the building. Four must survive, seven remain. <sighs> yeah, we don't have a juice to get to that guy, I don't think. The cheetah. So we'll move in that direction. If we can't shoot him, we make sure we shoot the locust. Howler monkey. Ah, two hits on the hunter. Not bad. Commander. Oh, there we go. We got stupidly good Back heat sinking, so don't mind going through the flames. Stupidly good heat sinking. There we go. We're finally getting a shot in this guy. Here it comes. All weapons are go. Yeah, nothing. Expected that. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Receiving you. Roger. Okay. Now. Let's just go with the pulses and see what we get. On it. Okay, three good hits. And it's enough. Beautiful. Hostile. Removed. Excellent. 
Yeah, that Arctic Cheat is in a good spot for us to pounce on him next turn, but I think he's going to go before us, so it'll be interesting to see where he goes and who he shoots at. Fuck, we're not getting the Zorias. They just keep rotating. Orders. Stay in the trees. He's got medium Good heavy go. lasers. Wow, we managed to avoid the fire? Really? Okay, not bad. Good to go. It, I mean, it's bad if you don't hit, but not a bad Good chance morning. to hit. Negative damage. That's all right. That's all right, kiddo. That is I. Throw the ling up. For, for what it's worth. worth. It's worth a lot. Because we gotta get to this guy. We gotta kill him. Kill him with fire! Ooh, nice hits. Nice hits. Got some heat on him too. What can I do for you? I don't know if that puts Going us through the fire. Though. see a message that it was going to put us through the fire, so it's not bad. Hopefully our machine guns will come back this turn. No sweat. Alright, two hits. We'll take it. We'll take it. Looks like we got a couple of them unjammed. Yeah, two are back. We need more crew just to unjam machine guns. What are we going on here? 14. Oh, that's not bad. I guess because the I guess because of tugboat's uh, skill still kind of gives us okay initiative. Yeah, those guys aren't going to do a damn thing, I don't think. So the howler is going on 18. Yeah, you better back up. We're coming for you. Still landed a hit though. Good shooting, Tex. Bad enough being in an urban mech, but it's even worse being in an overheating urban mech because you can't really move anywhere. Crap, man. They're gonna murder one of these copters. Waiting for orders. No shooting, just running. Huh? How you doing? Huh? How you doing? Nice damage. Well, there goes half his weapons. Inflicted some heavy damage. Oh, maybe not half. One, it looks like. Yeah, just the one. Everything else is probably mostly torso stuff, so... Alright, that's fine. We can follow that up. We'll get it done. Do we have anybody that goes before him? He's going on 13. That will be already gone. All right, so he gets to go now. Yeah, I knew. We, I could, yeah, it was a real toss-up. Not moving for so long, we lost a lot of initiative. But at least we got a good strike on him. That's the most important thing. And we killed the locust that turn. Oh, he's coming right out at us. You got balls of steel, Bubba. We got three turns after this one, so we should be able to just no. murder you. Okay, let's go. And then go right after those Zorias. Okay, pretty good chances to hit. All right. We could definitely use targeting computers, that's for sure. Okay, nice. Who are you shooting? building. Okay, let's see if we can get... I hear ya. See if we can get a metal distraction. We're gonna use the LRMs on the Hunter to try and target that, uh... Target this guy to see if we can get him shooting at us. You betcha. Alright, one hit. Hopefully it's enough to distract him. We'll see. We shall see. Now you're shooting at the building too. There goes the building. Ooh, almost. Yes, Commander. Holds on for another turn. Copy that. That means um, they got to use a whole uh, mech to shoot at it, or a whole vehicle to shoot at it. Copy that. 
All right, we got one hit. Not bad. Standing by. That's it, eh? No shooting, just running. Got it. Did we run to the fire? We didn't. Uh, let's drop a bit of heat. We'll go splash only just just in case we hit our own guy. Okay, there goes the left. There goes the mech. All right. Tango is trash. So it says it was an Omni mech, but if it was, it shouldn't have died because it lost its sight, unless it was an ammo explosion. But it, even then, it most likely had case. So whatever, I'll take it. Well, someone's using their tag finally. All right, here we go. Commander. Round eight. We got three turns left. Let's get the Zoria. Oof, really? Get in here. Let's just do it. All right, not bad. All right, we got one hit. It's about right. That's about right. That guy's like a vehicle wrecker. They're slowly moving forward now. It's got me concerned. At least the rocket launching guys are gone because now they can't uh, take a building down with one shot. So they got an LRM. They got a tag version. And something. Looks like one of them had an auto cannon. I wonder if it's an AC-20. There goes that building. Let's go I'm here. this way, and let's go after the vehicle with the most oh amount of boy. damage here potential. LRM-5 is not doing too much, but it, I, it is, I know it is hitting, but still. Okay, not bad, not bad. Bail out now. Ready to get it on. Okay, we'll just move up. Let's try get let's just try and get this guy out of here. There we go. Beautiful. We'll leave the howler for the wavering, I think. Receiving you. Gonna walk over there just to manage our heat a little better. Plus, I, I think we're gonna have to leave the wavering behind to go after those the urban mechs just to keep them from uh, getting into the base. Okay, not bad. Target's taking a critical hit. Come on. All right, what are you doing? You shooting at me, or are you gonna go up to the base again? Nope, base. Damn it. We got a sprint over there then. Waiting on you, Commander. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. All right, shoot this guy. Everything up here it comes. Roger that. Firing on target. All right, not bad. Another hit like that, and you're toast. I doubt it, but you never know. Yeah, it's got the tag going on, but I wonder what the hell that thing else, what else that thing has, or is supposed to have. Oh, there we go. Going I think we can get both Zorias now. We got the speed, so I don't think he's going to be able to get away from us. I know they, they're pretty quick, but our mechs are pretty quick, too. Nice chances to hit, too. Problem with getting a Zoria will be that... It's just going to become a bullet sponge. People are going to be shooting at it all the time. I guess that's kind of okay, but where was the solid blue line? Back here. 29. Broken blue line is 20. Yeah, we'll go here. Just don't shoot the friggin... Don't shoot the uh, locust in the back. I mean, it's got good back armor, but still... It's only got like 25, I think, at each point. Alright, nice. I can leave you two there 
and the rest of us will deal with everybody else. Ready for orders. Get you going back this way. Roger. I wonder if we want to just try and uh, No, we're not going to get enough hits on it. Let's not bother. Uh, we can't shoot out one of these guys, though. R20. He's got fluid guns and a tag. That guy's done. That guy's done. LRM20. This guy's got the AC20. He's got to blow through the wall to get to us. We're going to shoot at this guy. Locking on target. See if we can get those LRMs targeting us instead. Yeah, the AC-20 version. I hear ya. Pretty nasty. Okay, get up here. Lerms, baby. Not much of them, Got but... It. Nothing. Well, five points. Essentially nothing. Nope, not taking my bait. These rippers have been completely useless. What's up, boss? I don't even think you need to move. Let's finish them off. Whatever you say, boss. I think I hit some. I think you did too. Ah, and he's out cold. Well, there you go. We must have got a head hit, we must have got a torso hit, and then I claimed the torso and then he he fell over and went unconscious. So there you go, not bad. Now we just gotta kill the Zoria. That'll be two lances down. And I don't think these guys have got the juice to take um, two buildings. I mean the AC-20 would if it was close enough, but it just can't get there in two turns. There's no way. Oh, this is the last round. So yeah, Commander. there's that. Alright, finish this guy off. One shot in the side is all you need, baby. One shot in the side. Oh. What'd you do, hit the front and the back? All front looks like, maybe a turret. What now? Alright. Come on, just get lucky and hit the side. You got lots there. Do it. Looks like it. There you go. Shoot from the back, hit the side. Excellent. Who's up? One Irby. Alright. Standing by. I think we shoot at the LRM version again. Because why not? Don't think it really matters, but... We'll shoot this guy! Alright, handful of damage. I'm out of long range missiles. That's alright, man. Now, I don't think you can get to... Oh, you can. Roger. I keep forgetting the uh, Ultra 2's got really long range, so... At least we'll be able to shoot that. Same guy. Might get lucky. Nope. Failed to connect. That is alright. It is the last turn. We've done really well. I'm interested to see what's going to show up in our um, loot table. Same guy, just because. Uh huh. Nothing. It's fine. Systems recycling for another shot. Finally got that machine gun unjammed. Although, I mean, granted, the pilot's really bad, so. Mission successful. All right, let's have a look at what we got here. We yeah, we failed that one mission, but I mean, yeah, they targeted the buildings. They did pretty well. Firing over the wall would have been way worse if those walls weren't there. That's for sure. We took almost no damage. 
Uh, what is it they want? So we're trying to gain a rep with Wolf. If we accept, we get two rep, which is good. So the Solitaire, Arctic Cheetah parts, and the Locust 2C parts. But they're going to add LBX ammo. He thinks, are you fucking kidding me? Standard Fusion Core, six masks. We're going to accept it anyway, but I mean, it's only for the rep. Fine. Whatever. I feel like I'm getting bent over. Uh, let's take three Zoya parts. We need a second vehicle. We do need a second vehicle. Now, Locust C. We do have other Locust parts. So this has got... Replaced each of the arm-mounted machine guns with Clan ER small lasers. And added the medium pulse laser in the center, center torso. So not too bad. I mean, it's not as good as what we're running now. It's only got four hard points, so... Clan Flamer, not bad. LBX 5s, 6 tons. That's pretty darn light. Clan LRMs, another 15. I mean, we could turn... So here's a thought. What if we turn the uh, Wavern into a long-range boat? You know, we pull out the ER Small, take out the SRM 6, put a pair of LRM 15s and some more ammo in there, keep the large pulse in there, that's a possibility. Small heavy lasers. Half ton medium heavy laser. Minus one accuracy. Snub nose PPCs. Always a good get. I mean it has damage fall off, but still. 60 damage for, for 30 heat's pretty good for at six tons. So we got streaks in here as well. Regular SRM-6 clan, which would be nice. Case 2. Um, still not getting any... Um, oh, there's a targeting computer. Minus 10% multiplier to jam chance. Let's drop that there for a second. We don't, we don't have any... Um, oh, that's nice too. Clan ECMs. Clan double heatsinks 5. There's all the masks. I know we were talking about getting a hand for one of the mechs, or at least trying it, but... LBX ammo. Wow, quantity four. Yeah, see, here's the thing. There's, the, there's Artemis ammo. Now, we don't have any regular... We do have regular LRM ammo. I mean, we could try and turn the Wavern into the, to the long-range boat. Now that we're going to have the um, Mistlinks with lots of lasers, the Locust with lots of lasers and flamers. we got a good firepower boat now in the Sentinel. It was hitting pretty well today. I'm not going to take that as, as indicative compared to having the Gauss Rifle. The Gauss Rifle may well well, well have done the same deal of damage today as it did the, the other day. It, it'll be one of those matches where we have low percentage chances to hit to see how well it does. Um, so it's not really indicative of how well it's doing. Ah, uh, man, the fire control system's nice, but we don't have any support systems to go with it. Although the plus two accuracy bonus, I mean, that could go in the Locust. Or even in the Mislinks. We put a bunch of pinpoint lasers on it. Gonna grab that. And I'm going to grab this for the mislinks. Because we can do a nice close range build on it with this offensive push accuracy. I mean, it lowers jam chance too, but I don't really care. I just want to be able to like rip shit off mechs. You know what I'm saying? I think we go this route. Yeah, the Falcon pieces would be nice, but not necessarily necessary. There's a lot of good stuff here, and everyone would choose something different probably, but I think this is probably the best way to go for me. So let's take this. 
see what we get here. We got the two Falcon pieces, the two Howler pieces, the Locust piece. We can put together another Locust. Two ER small clans, beautiful clan flamer. That's awesome. Case two clan, endo steel clan, 140 or 140 cores. Sorry, internal combustion engine can go. We can get a bit of seabills off that. The clan guardian ECM, clan double heat sinks, regular double heat sinks, two clan masks, the omnipod hand that we were looking for. That can go. So slug ammo, not a big deal. The Artemis ammo and SRM ammo. Holy shit. I don't think there's like maybe two or three things we didn't really have any use for. All the rest of it was good. Like that's a pretty good roll. I mean, the only thing I would probably swap out would be like, you know, the Howler parts and the, maybe the Locust part or something. The Falcon parts aren't too bad. All right. 10,000. That's like nothing. That's awesome. All right. So uh, I want to advance the timeline one day here real quick. And, okay, so this was for the duelist from before, and we, we had a uh, duo duel, which was a trial refusal. So, we're going to try and claim... Um, it's tough, because every time we tried to claim him as a mech warrior, he said no, and the time that we said negative, um, he didn't show up in the hiring hall. So I'm just going to keep going affirmative until we can try and get somebody, just to see what happens. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, so we do get a bondswoman. Mech Warrior Cynthia is in the barracks. Okay, let's check it out. Interesting. All right. Excellent. So, um... Let's just see here. Where is she? Uh, China Doll, I guess. I'm here. So, I mean... I wonder if she lost the match, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. But, uh, yeah. Um, fine. Well, we got another mech pilot. And this one will be the second mech pilot. I mean, right now we're using, um, Viragio right now. But, uh, I know it's Virago. But Viragio, um as a Spectre pilot, but we picked her up as a secondary, so this pilot is technically got to be the second pilot. I guess technic technically. Mech Warrior, plus one initiative, plus one morale, plus one evasion generator, which is nice, but minus one accuracy is not so good, but plus one ECM shield and probe, which is good, and minus one morale, so it balances off with the honest. So... Yeah, bonus ECM, bonus evasion, bonus initiative. Sure, sounds good to me. That would that makes for a great second pilot, especially in that speedy Spectre. All right, so I'm going to leave this one here. I'm going to do some minor um, tweaks to the mechs. We've got some time now. I want to make sure, though... So the Spectre needs to be at the top. Actually, the Hatchman needs to be at the top. And we'll bring the Wavern up. So, let's see here. The Hatchman finishes. It loads the Wavern in. The Spectre is going still. So we burn through these and then the Mislinks loads. So it's 18 days technically for the Mislinks. Let's not make it 18 days. Let's try and get this to a different... Uh, let's go... this way because the sentinel doesn't need to be, need to change the waiver needs to be updated the hatchet mean needs to be looked at right specter needs to finish and then we need to work do some work on it so that'll come back in 13 days miss links will be back in 15 the sentinel will already be back and the specter will probably and the waiver will probably be getting repaired or actually let's just quickly see here end of the month yeah, we got our financial report. No problem. All right, let's see what we got for for our missions here. Because we can't bail from the planet. There's really nowhere to go here. So, okay, we got another duel. Solo duel, beautiful. We've been getting w at least one a month, which is awesome. So we can just keep staying here. And then we've got some higher level stuff for Wolf here. Uh, local brigands, this is the one that we were having a problem with before, but you never know. 
um, this might actually work out well on our for us. So we take one mission this month. Either that one or this one is against who? Jade Falcon. Half Skull. So we do have options. Beautiful. What are we sitting at here with these guys? 15. So at the end of this next month, we should have pretty good rep. Although this is a... Shoot. This is versus who? Trial of Possession versus... planetary government so that should be relatively easy then we'll see I don't know anyway I'm gonna get the mechs back get things going we should be able to pull off at least another mission before the end of the month maybe two who knows we'll see how it goes actually was there any uh, assassinates in Always here I don't think there was no maybe we can do that next month but uh, we'll see how many missions we can pull off before the end of the month I might actually well mm, I was gonna say I might actually do a milk run with the Royals but I doubt it um, but we'll see how things go, alright? But I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.